Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology and in this video we are going to talk about the difference between agar and agarose. Like many students ask me this, what is the difference between agarose and agar because the name are very similar and they have very similar sort of jobs so people get confused. So let's talk about the difference between agar and agarose. The first thing is their source. So where do we derive the agar and agarose from? The agar is derived uh, from the red algae. There are some examples which I didn't include, you can search in, but it is derived from a red algae where agar rose is derived from agar which is a purified form of the agar the second parameter is the composition the agar is composed of polysaccharide uh, agar rose and uh, some mixture of agaropectin while agar rose only composed of linear polysaccharide there is no agaropectin in agar rose now the production process and its complexity the agar production is much easy much easy to retain agar from the red algae where agar rose as we need to purify agar further to get agar rose and made with only linear polysaccharide it's more of a complex job more difficult job to do the price for the agar as it is easily derived the price is cheaper than agar rose well agar rose as it takes more time more effort thus more money is needed so agar rose is expensive to buy the uses, the final thing, the uses, the agar is used for culturing bacteria and also it's used in the food industry to make jellies, ice creams, puddings and custards and so many things where we need to solidify something. Well, agar rose is used in the molecular laboratory techniques like DNA uh, fragment analysis with DNA fingerprinting and any other process where we need to separate DNA uh, mixture. So electrophoresis is the process agar rose is used particularly for the DNA uh, electrophoresis. Okay, and it's also used in the immunological lab in immunoelectrophoresis and immunodiffusion studies as well. So that's the difference between agar and agarose. We need both of them in molecular lab because we need to use them for getting data from the uh, from for when we are analyzing DNA. Okay, or RNA. So that's all about the difference of agar and agarose. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.